to the day's other top story, the fight over fracking. Last night, we showed you just how close to the surface tensions are getting. And while New Brunswick's blockade is down today, the anger in Rexton and elsewhere is still burning. Senior correspondent Adrian Arsenault has the story. The fiery finale of the protests in New Brunswick. Police and protesters and the three-week-old blockade all gone by nightfall. Momentum seeming to dwindle by dawn. Rexton has the look of a place in pause. The 40 people arrested purposely sent to three different cities so no one courthouse could become the magnet for protesters. Still, in Moncton, they tried. And the drama of the demonstration stayed fresh. Gina Simon's son was one of those arrested and still held. Yesterday, my heart was broken. I mean, like, how we were attacked, it was, like, unreal. And that's where the story takes a turn. Because while protesters argued all day that they had been set upon while they slept, the RCMP was eager to change the tone, loudly claiming everyone has it wrong, that the police felt they were in immediate danger, had no choice. Look, they said, at what they found. Modified fireworks packed with metal bits and a cache of weapons, legal ones, but clearly a concern. When you see firearms of that nature hidden underneath a tent with ammo and fully accessible at a second's notice, that is not the context that one would find normal firearms in this particular situation. So where does that leave the notion of peaceful dialogue? Exactly what the Premier and the Elsie Book took chief tried to restart today. Tried. As complicated as the efforts of the demonstrators trying to keep the focus on the purpose of the protests in the first place, a fear that fracking will be environmentally ruinous. If they put all those chemicals into the ground, where do they put the tailings? How, who's going to treat the polluted water and what about the water that's still there? So this is where what happens next becomes Canada's concern and not just New Brunswick's. This sort of gas exploration is only growing in this country. It's not going away. And neither, it seems, will the fear or the fury disappear. So Rexton may be momentarily calm, but other communities are standing by. Wendy? Thanks, Adrian. Adrian Arsenault tonight.